Hey guys, Rocket Blade here once again. Welcome to, an- welcome to another um, RTB podcast. Welcome, hey guys, Rocket Blade. I'm doing it on my phone today, um, and I'm also outside. Um, you know the, the air, you know the fresh air is real nice today. So I just wanted to be out here. As you see, I'm outside, and just um, enjoy um, today with you. Um, well, in case you already know, late last night. At least ten of you saw the video anyway, but it, it's everywhere at this point that um, unfortunately China from the WWE has passed away. It's it's sad. Um, I we, they still don't know the details of what how she died. The California police, I believe, when she died at, is investigating her death, what happened, and trying to figure out the situation. Then, as you know, you know, as I'm going through the day, you know, doing my chores or whatever, now around the house. Um, my brother, call, you know, knocks on my door to tell me that Prince died t- t- today, and I'm like, holy shit! I mean, I'm not always the biggest fan of Prince, but I know who Prince was, and I do know who Purple Rain. He did some songs here and there that I've heard of, and he's pretty how Dave Chappelle did a uh, a comedy sketch of of Prince. So, at least through that, I know who Prince was. I mean, he was parodied by Dave Chappelle, so it's like. I know who Prince was, and for him just to just be gone the way he had, just for him to just suddenly just, just just die like that it was just out of nowhere and shocking. Granted, I heard the the latest thing I heard he had a fl- he was battling the flu or something, and he had to cancel a couple of tour dates. According to I got the news by the way from also I got the news from Philip DeFranco, good great um, YouTube channel by the way you should definitely check it out for news and stuff. And he just died and. It's shocking. It's just like, man, I was just, I was just kidding around, saying, man, who's next? And then, Lord behold, Prince was the next one to go. I mean, God, you know, I, I hope I didn't jinx it, but damn, you know, I didn't, I didn't, you know, shit, you know, I feel bad for the family of Prince and just fans in general of Prince. This is a really sad time for you guys. I mean, I mean, I was affected by him personally, but I respect the art and the music he did, and the industry. I mean, he, you know, he did some very controversial things at the time during the 80s, but he didn't care, he did it, he did, you know, he, he didn't compromise himself for the sake of others, he did what he wanted to do, and, and, and believe, and that might be, it was because of that why he was massively successful, you know, and it's just sad to hear he just passed away, I mean, seriously, I mean, I mean, not too so long ago, it was David Bowie, you know, China, and then now, you know, Prince, I mean, we're losing legends, man, it's, it's so sad, but damn, 2016 so far, in terms of so far, it kind of sucks. I mean, you know, we, we lost Undertow. We lost game trailers. Just a great channel. Now we're losing great, you know, people. It's just, this is so, so far, 2016 hasn't been all that great. I mean, besides a couple of great movies here and there, you know, with um, Deadpool, Bever, Superman, Hardcore Henry. I mean, this has been just been pretty kind of depressing, you know? Just Jesus, man. I just hope it gets better from here. That's all I hope for. That's all we can hope for. And... Before I move on to the next subject, all I want to say is to to people that are Prince fans and China fans, especially me, I'm a, I'm a huge China fan. Like I mentioned in my my video, my other video, you know, besides Lita and Trish Stratus, she was a, she made me watch the the women's division. And as I said I grew mad respect for her because you know she was challenging men, but she came, like she, like I said before, she became intercontinental champion, and she was the only woman to do so, not once but twice, two time intercontinental champion. And like I said before, despite, you know, her being in the porn industry, I do hope that the WWE put her in the Hall of Fame. And um, and also, um, I just hope that with Prince, he can rest in peace and also figure out what happened. Because even with China, as I reported, we, I still don't know what happened. If you, if you guys want to give me an update, at least with China, please write in the comment section below what happened to China. But as far as Prince, it just happened, so it, it's still fresh. So we don't know what's happening. So it's just... It just seems like a sad day indeed. Um, all right, so then let's go to UFC news now. I mean, even that's kind of depressing and confu. It, it's kind of depressing and confusing. And, and let's let's just dive right in. Okay, so I got news from my brother, who's a big UFC fan like I am, because he subscribed to the to uh, SureDog.com, a great website to find out the latest on MMA news and stuff. Um, he told me that um, it blew up everyone Facebook and Twitter and stuff that. Conor McGregor, Nate Diaz, and CM Punk retired. You know, at the time. 
Then I realize, and then, and then I'm hearing that Nate Diaz was just kidding. He was just trolling Connor, and then, and then now I'm hearing now I'm recently hearing that Connor's not really retired. That you know he might be in the two, UFC 200 card fighting someone else. It, it, I don't know, but 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 as it's still as it's so I don't know if that should have changed or not. I'm not sure if that's changed or not. But that's the latest I gotten so far, and um, CM Punk has retired. But st- but it's still confirmed that CM Punk is in fact still retired. If you want to guess, if on CM Punk, if you want to ask me for my opinion, why I believe CM Punk retired. If you want to ask my opinion, I believe my opinion on that is, is simply that I think when during training session, I think he got a revelation that maybe he can't hang with, he can't do this. I mean, he maybe doesn't want to get embarrassed on a global scale, so that's why he um, decided not to want to do it. And I understand, the last thing you want to do is go to a UFC event, like maybe, for example, maybe, let's say he's going to wrestle UFC, like, perform a UFC 200, and then gets knocked down in front of hundreds of thousands of people, plus the millions of people watching on pay-per-view, you know... And people talking smell, ah, oh, you got knocked out. And then you know how people are, they're, they're assholes. They're quick to jump on that bag one and saying, oh, you're nothing but a failure. So maybe those combination of things that, you know, he decided to retire and not do go that to go down that path. Do I still want him to give it a try? At least give it a try. But if he feels that he, it's, it's not for him, well, I wish him best of luck and whatever else he does, you know. I think he's a cool guy, met him in person. I think he's an awesome guy. Um... I just hope I just wish him best of luck in his future endeavors, and I hope he succeeds in what he does next. Um, so th- so now as far as um, Conor McGregor, it's just I'm glad UFC. I read a comment that you know UFC on um some fighter Jamie Vollmer, I believe his name is. I could be wrong, mentioning the fact that UFC lost some some lost lost its power to let to do this kind of shit. I'm like, no, what the UFC did was smart. You see. It's they didn't let one fighter be bigger than the sport, because then you do that, then you go down the path of guess what, boxing. Then that's right. I know you boxing fans hate to hear this, but that's true. That's why. And I'm and I'm and don't get me wrong. I'm a huge boxing fan. Of, of I'm I'm a fan of you know Evander Holyfield, Muhammad Ali, you know Oscar De La Hoya, Manny Pacquiao. I mean I'm a huge box. I mean I'm a huge boxing fan and a, and a fan of those fighters. You know what I'm I watch all their fights and stuff. But you gotta admit. The people like dictating when people should fight, you know, com- you know, promoters getting in the way. I mean, look how long we had to wait for our uh, Pacquiao Mayweather. I mean, I mean, we should have got that. We should got that way, way sooner because of money and politics. Who should announce? Who should get announced first? And where they should fight at? All this, all this bullshit that they didn't need to do. It was just ridiculous, and just down. It was just downright ridiculous. And it just pissed me off, you know, and, and I hated that boxing. That's why I stopped watching boxing for a while. I mean, I mean, because, you know, all, all this shit that kept happening. It, it, granted, you know, I just saw the recent boxing fight of uh, Pacquiao, Timmy Lee Bradley. Damn, damn that, that was way better than Pacquiao Mayweather. Because unlike, uh, cause unlike uh, Mayweather, Timmy Lee Bradley came to fight. Because all Mayweather did was want to walk around the damn ring. In fact, that's a running meme of how to summarize the Pacquiao... Mayweather fight. Pacquiao was at a fight. My way there was well, Mayweather was running around. Not to get hit like a little like a little coward. But um let's let's all right, let's but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're, we're going way off track. You get the point being this. What UFC did was smart. I mean, don't get me wrong, Connors drew drew a lot of money. He has a big market. I mean he stepped up the plate for UFC time and time again. But you can't suddenly just act like you're bigger than a sport and dictate what you want to do, because then that's how corruption, and then that's how, and that's how, and, and and other terrible things can happen, and thus going the route of boxing. And UFC does not need to go the route of boxing, because look at boxing right now; it's almost practically, on it's on its deathbed right now, on life support, barely alive. I mean, kudos to Oscar De La Hoya. I know he's trying to bet his best with Golden Boy promotions, but these promoters and shit of the business access needs to die because they're dictating a lot of the shit and ruining the sport. They're like they're like the they're like real life vampires, literally sucking the blood out of fighter uh, of any fighter worth a damn, and then going on to the next one. And then what you know, saying and and the thing is, you know, what I like about UFC and I hate how people say, oh, they're watering down the sport. First of all, I want to smack you in the face. 
for people to even saying that shit, number one, because if you're saying one on the sport and you're saying that that baseball, basketball, and football with their drafts are watering down the sport because it's always a smart thing to discover the next big fighter. It's a smart thing to do because then when you go boxing route, since Pacquiao, this is his last, supposedly his last fight, who's left? Can anyone name me who's left in boxing? And the answer is nobody. Not fucking nobody. Everyone's retired. Everyone's leaving. The last big star Pacquiao has now retired. It's it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm glad I'm 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 stand firm. I'm thank God UFC did what it did and I'm proud of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? Um it's just, you know, that's that's just Insane, you know, you know, you can't be bigger than the sport. I'm sorry, Conor McGregor. I mean, I, I, I respect what you did for the sport. You know, I'm so saying you are an incredible fighter. Hey, I saw him fought him live against Chad Mendez, live in Vegas. But you're not bigger than the you're not bigger than um the sport. That's just how it is. At the end of the day, um, what else? Um, yeah. So I get my you know. So Nate trolling my thoughts on punk. All right, the last thing in the podcast I want to talk about is basically the the PS4 Neo that has been codenamed and called. Um, it's a little upgrade to the PlayStation 4. Um, I, I, I think it's cool that they're doing something like that, in my opinion, but they really wanted to be successful. I think um, the PlayStation 4 um, should have an update or just do something in general to where it could take a bigger hard drive because as it is right now, um, it's not, it's not a good idea to, um, I mean, it, 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 don't get me wrong, what I'm trying to say is this, like, it's good as a concept, but, like, these games nowadays, like I said in the comment, um, I think on a thir- Killer1316 about, he, he talked about, he talked about in the PS4 Neo, and I love the comment saying that these, you know, I mean, I think it's going to be a thousand gigabytes, but I think that's not enough, at least it needs to really be two gigabytes, and a lot of people agree with me, because two thousand gigabytes, because the you know two gigabytes, you know two gigabytes, you know at least you know two thousand gigabytes, because these games take a lot of memory nowadays. I mean, God, like got Batman Arkham Knight, like what in the fifties and sixties? Granted, there's some game coming that don't manage the data like Fallout, but like Fallout Four, which has only twenty. You would think that thing would be monsters, but it's only twenty gigabytes. But I think for the PS, if the PS4 Neo really wants to be like to thrive. I think, in my opinion, it needs to, um, you know, come out to where you can put, you can use a hard drive for it. Because, hell, you know what's sad? Xbox has personally made Xbox hard drives you can buy. Hell, Nintendo has, you know, we use to use hard drives. Granted, you have to buy a Pacific hard drive because it's not compatible with all hard drives. But the fact that that's even an option is a, is a good step forward. But the fact that the PS4 doesn't have that option just baffles me. I didn't believe it, so I bought a hard drive for it. I ended up turning it back because it didn't do anything. And I have a lot of games that have big memory on there, and I want to, like, transfer over, and I couldn't do that like I could do with Xbox and then the Nintendo. It's insane to me why PlayStation wouldn't allow something like that. And in my opinion, if they want to succeed, they need it to do... They should have to order Neo can do that. Or at least have it come... Like, at least come with 2,000 gigabytes, because these games nowadays, and you guys can agree with me, are huge nowadays. It's not like back in the day that most of it will take is going to be 10, 15 at most. Now, not, I mean, now it's like... I mean, the only time it gets big is you're going to download it directly into the system to run better. But other than that, I mean... I mean, the, the average, you know, on average, it was like 5 or 6, maybe max 10 or 15 at the most, depending, you know, with DLC and everything. But now it's like... That's that's like the that's like the that's not even the, that's not even like the average anymore. Now the average is like maybe twenty at the lowest, or maybe twelve. No, actually maybe twelve. If it's on a remake, but like in terms of like you know you know HD ports, but also like new games, it's like twenty on up. And it's insane. And for Neo to succeed, they need to do something like that. I mean, it's like, like I said again, as a concept, it's a great idea, but it should just really implement the fact that it should need, you know, allow hard drives. Cause like I said, like I keep emphasizing for it, I'll keep repeating myself. But the fact that these games are getting bigger it is proof of that. Games are getting bigger, and they need to make it to where that you know you can you know upgrade the system. Cause at the end of the day, if you don't do that, then you're gonna be left behind. It's just, it's just that you know what I'm saying, or it, it's your system's gonna suffer. It's like a plane coming over. Yeah, I told you guys I'm outside. 
Hope you guys can still hear me, though. But, uh, yeah, um... But you get my point. That's my thoughts on the matter, guys, on everything. So that's the base. That's that's the end of the podcast in general. So I'm going to wrap things up with you know, may China and Prince rest in peace. I hope we find out so what happens to them. Connor, I love you. I love you enough for sport. You're not bigger than a sport. Nate, stop trolling because you've done a lot of terrible shit yourself. Tried with jumping people and and acting all ghetto. You're supposed to be professional on live TV. So you're one. You shouldn't be talking. Granted, you're a great fighter. And, and you, I mean, yeah, you are a great fighter. You've done great, incredible fights, but you also you you've lost too. And you you've lost and got embarrass yourself. So I wouldn't go around and like I'm the greatest shit ever when you've lost when you when you when it comes to the big fights you've lost yourself. So I wouldn't be talking too much if I was you. And CM Punk, I mean, like I said before, you know, I, I wish you best luck in your future endeavors. I uh, you know I hope you succeed the next thing you do. I hope you know. I just hope you succeed because I think I think you're you're a smart guy. You should do what you want to do, but you know, just just be careful. That's all I'm asking. I don't, you know, just be careful and be wise on what you're doing next. And I wish you best of luck in future endeavors. And as far as the PS4 Neo in general, you know, PS4 Neo in general, I'm happy that the fact that you know they're doing an upgrade thing is pretty. I think it's pretty cool. But you know, I just hope they don't come up with exclusive games for like kind of the new 3DX, kind of the new 3DS is doing with um, a binding of Isaac and. Um, you know, Blade Chronicles, hope they just come out with games where it's for everybody. And in my opinion, if they really want to sell, make it to where it takes hard drives. Or even the PS, or even the fast um, PS4s. I hope they can do that for them as well. At least to compensate. That's right, my thoughts on America, guys. Guys, tell me what you guys think in the, uh, in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. I hope, you know, hope the noise didn't distract you too much. Yeah, but uh, as always, guys, um, this is Rocky the Blade signing out. Hope to see you guys again uh, real soon. And hopefully uh, no more deaths happen for the rest of the year because man this has been a depressing year of 2016 so far alright guys I'll see you when I see you